So here we have the Profinet connected to the PLC and there's a digital IO and an analog IO. We only, we're only using the digital IO. And then the PLC is connected to the unmanned, unmanned network and the unmanned network is connected to the extension. Uh, and here we also have uh, a digital IO and an analog IO. And here we have like the analog IO is communicating with this, reading its output and also transforming it to the digital IO and sending it, sending it back. So this is connected to the network and the network is connected back to the computer. And what we built was we, so this switch, when we, I like, I got a code that when you turn it on and it turns on these two switches. So like if two people, three people are working, you have the manager key here. If he turns it on, you have the two other people here. Uh, they have to turn it on too for the, whatever the process is to work. And then what we did after was we made the lights turn from left to right. So to turning on all the lights, the devices, the outputs from one to eight simultaneously on these two consoles as if these are two different consoles and two different people working in two different environments. So if I switch this on and this on, you see how it turns. So this is what happens. And then if I turn the knob here, you see it's getting slower and slower as I turn the knob. So here's the knob. This is when I turn it all the way left. And as we increase it, slowly increasing. Yeah. And if you close one, it will reset. It doesn't matter which button it is, it will always reset. And then on the computer, we have the code. So first we mapped all the all the components, all the lights, and chose them as inputs or outputs. And then we map, like we literally mapped all the all the inputs and outputs, and the switches. And then we mapped the potentiometer or the, the switch. And what we did here was create a loop that first of all we did like an end condition where we have all the three. Um, inputs that we're using like the three managers together if the first one is on it would turn on the other switches like it would turn on the lights and then if both of them are on it would turn on the, the it would start the process and the process here is just a timer a two seconds or one second like depending on the like potentiometer or the switch turns on the first light goes in as an input takes the, the delay turns on the second light and it goes on all the way to the last light, but it turns on both lights at the same time. So we have that connected. And then in the end, it resets. We have like a reset. So when it goes all the way here, it resets the entire loop. And the reset is right here with the process. It's always on, but it makes it go back all the way here to restart the loop. And also we had this, this transforms the input from the potentiometer or the switch into a time variable and then puts it in the delay, which is the input for the time delay.